Come on, Tina, get up on the couch. <laughs> hey, what's up? My name's Bren. I'm Tina. We've been living in a van together for the past few months, and there's a few things that we 100% cannot live without, and this is that list. Check it out. I'm Zen, they always forget about me in the vlog, but like, I live here too. This is my home. Watch my video, subscribe. I like Cardi. I love this, and it's probably my personal favorite thing that we bought for the van. Little cordless vacuum. It's so perfect because it pivots, so you can like get into all the little cracks. There's a different spout and it's super easy to clean and take stuff out. Probably one of my favorite features in the van is this um, skylight that we installed. You don't see it in a lot of vans. I don't know why people don't do this, but especially in a van with no windows on the sides, it's really nice to have that natural light coming in from the ceiling. Also to have just more airflow, the more airflow, the better. It's placed so that when we go to bed at night and we're in bed mode, you can look up at the stars. It's by far like one of the coolest parts of the van for sure. And even when we don't have the screen in here, this is also access to the roof of the van, which is, come on, dope. And you know it's on the list, the latest and greatest latte machine. We really like coffee, and we noticed that we were spending a lot of money going to coffee shops and getting specialty coffees and stuff like that. Yes, it was like a little hefty of a purchase, but we're gonna save a lot of money in the long run. Being able to just like have our own specialty coffees and not have to go to Starbucks or this expensive coffee shop and this expensive coffee shop. Serious, serious essential when living in a van is having solar power. We could travel basically anywhere off grid and not have to think about plugging in or getting a campsite or anything like that because we could actually harness power from the sun. So come on down here. This is our handy dandy Goal Zero. It's a kind of plug and play version of a battery system. So it's not too complicated. It's a battery, it's a charger, it's a everything all in one. I know nothing about ba batteries and solar power and stuff. I didn't really want to learn either. That's why we got this thing, because it's super simple. Got two solar panels on the roof, and also we could charge this battery while we're driving. We could plug it in when we're parked at somewhere where we got power too, so there's always a way to charge this thing. It's pretty dope. And think about it, it runs our latte machine, our TV, our laptop, my, all my music gear, which sits right here. Look, we got a TV. It's just great entertainment. Washing our shows, playing games with each other, and this has just made it feel so much like a home. Sit here on the couch, watch some TV. It's like just a nice little living room. Oh. Oh. The next fan life essential is plants. We got plants growing everywhere in this van, even on the dash. So many plants, and why? Not a lot of van lifers will have this many plants, but to us, I don't know, there's just something about being surrounded by plant life, being surrounded by the greenery. It just feels alive in here, it feels nice. It's like therapeutic in a way. Not to mention, we're growing food in here. We save a lot also in terms of not buying a ton of things at the grocery store because we're growing half of it. Look, lettuces, kales, parsleys and arugulas. Man, they've even got basil on the door. Chives, arugulas, more kales. Giant aloe plant, giant palm, little flowers. Got some vines growing in the front. Palm tree right there. Snake plants. We even got parsley growing down. More kales and basils. Essential for van life is probably this swivel table. We made our own tabletop. You can buy it, make your own, whatever. Super, super easy. And then you have this really cool swivel table. If you wanna work over here, you can have a table right here. If you want it maybe a little more out of the way so you can walk in and out of your van. If I need some room for cooking, I have another table right here. And the great thing about this too is we can easily take this tabletop off. This table actually fits right in the middle here to make our bed. Let me tell you about my biggest fan, the fan. Fans are super essential. Yeah. Think about it, you're in a really small room, a really small space, and especially when all the doors are closed and you're trying to get some privacy, it can feel a little cooped up if you don't have proper airflow. So this thing, this fan's great. It even has a rain cover so that when it rains, we could still have it sucking in or have air blowing out either way. But my personal favorite fan is this little guy right here. It's like a gimbal fan. So it kind of goes in all these different ways, all these different directions and stuff. Crazy amount of airflow. It's really good on power, so it saves us a lot of battery power. So another van essential is this dog. I'm just kidding. Highly, highly recommend 
window covers. They really give you that nice privacy. You know, you don't want the windows open all the time. Then people can look in and creep and whatever. So these ones um, we got from Adventure Van Co. And they're really cool because they're magnetic. Another great thing too is that they're actually insulated. It'll keep the temperature very uh, controlled in here. We also have a big one for the front and another one for the side. Oh my God, what are you doing? I'm taking a sh- Okay, the next van life essential is a toilet. If you live in a van, you don't have a toilet, you're crazy. As soon as we said we'd be living in a van, I knew right away there's no way I'm gonna be running from public washroom to public washroom every time I gotta take a piss. Cause trust me, I gotta piss like 30 times a day. I drink a lot of water and I got a healthy metabolism. I it probably three, four times a day. So there's no way I'm going to a public washroom that many times. And have you ever been to a public washroom? Disgusting, gross. Like what is going on in there? Not happening. There's many different toilets you could have while living in a van, but for us, we 100% wanted the compost toilet because while compost is great for the environment, it's super easy, simple kind of setup. So, and it's cheap. It didn't cost us a lot of money. So, so take a look. Here's a little toilet setup. It's just a hatch. You got a funnel for the pee to separate the pee from the bucket, which is the poop. And I'm not gonna show you the inside of that because no one wants to see it. We also put food scraps and stuff in there too. So it's like a true compost. Sometimes we put paper and stuff. And over here, right beside the toilets where we keep toilet paper, vinegar, cleaning supplies and stuff. It's a cheap, easy, simple way to do it. And also just think while you're taking a shit, you can watch TV. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. Yo, subscribe, we're doing vlogs. We're doing challenges, we're doing podcasts, we're doing all sorts of van life content, and we're gonna travel the world someday, and, and you could be a part of it. Did you subscribe?